Hello, what's up everyone? And today I am back with another video and this one is going to be about like basically an OTT inside of Bitwig using the main plugins. Now this theoretically should work and it does work very well. Um, you need to use the dynamics plugin or device because the regular compressor doesn't a have upwards compression and it doesn't have long enough release or attack times. I think the attack times are okay, but for release, um, I mean, actually it probably could make it, but the release only goes up to one second where the release goes up to three seconds on the dynamics. You can also get a 316 second attack, which you can't do here. And then you can also change the knee uh, with compression in the dynamics and you can't do that with the regular compressor and this has an RMS mode there's also a low threshold for upwards compression and yeah and that's what OTT is it's upward up and down compression basically so you have to use the dynamics plugin and then like this OT or not OTT sorry this multi-band effects sort of thing here and if we look over in Ableton here, this is the OTT we have opened right here. And we have our, you know, our, what is this time? And then we have the, the below and the above. And these are, these are the three options. Now this little OTT multiband compressor is probably like my favorite existing device between Ableton and Bitwig. And it has an OTT mode, which can be done with the upwards and downwards compression. So you basically could just take this and just copy every single value. And this is what I did, copied it over to over here. So like this should now be an OTT. It has the exact same cutoff points, exact same inputs and outputs for the high, mid and low bands for the below, above and the attack and release. The one thing I'm trying to figure out at the moment is the time knob. Now the time knob explains it on the side when you hover over it. Now what I can't figure out and what it sounds like to me is when you turn it up, it lowers the attack or the release and it high and then it raises the attack, raises the attack, lowers the release. If I switch over to it. Here. is a little softer. This is much softer. Actually, it gets a little more crunchy, but this makes a bigger difference for th for sounds with dynamic range because it will change how it reacts to them. So, for example, maybe if I like LFO this. This is also similar to if you're to use the Serums OTT and only touch the release. I always put the release all the way up. Because if it's down, it brings up like the, the low, low, low parts and then it's like a stutter instead of like a smooth movement. And it's weird. So like that, this release knob basically does this time knob and so does, I mean, and What's cool is you can do the release and the attack knob separately, though, and this little OTT thing. And then there's like this ratio. Um, and the ratio again, you'd have to like affect in here, although I don't know if there's a ratio option. Oh, yeah, there's sorry. Yes, there is obviously ratio options, but this goes for the above and below and like everything like that. So a little more, much more, um, probably the highest level of like, you know, uh, custom ability is right here in this plugin. So, so when you use the plugin OTT here, you get your time to a thousand, your time to zero or ten, input output gain, and your depth, which is your mix, and the upwards and downwards compression, and then just like how loud each band is, and then also in the center we have this. We can move around the center position of of the thresholds basically. Uh, relative to each other we can also turn turn them off or or not so quite a bit of 
quite a bit of like customization even in this little like thing that Steve Duda made in probably like 60 minutes or something. So what I'm trying to talk about now is that I have an OTT in Bitwig and that's great, but there's some problems with it that I'm not a fan of. So for example, sounds pretty close. It almost has like less mud in it. Right? Cool. And like that's, it works pretty good in that sense. You can mix it in if you wanted to. No problem. You can change the high and low amounts right like that. No problem can be done. And then you can even come in here and mess with, you know, your compression settings and whatnot. However, sometimes OTT I like to use with reverb. Now, when I use it with reverb in this sense, listen to what happens. The high is cut out for like no reason. And then when we get to the end of what's happening, we get low end issues, then it gets cut out. They get basically gated out and I don't understand why. Uh, if the settings are to be, say, the exact same as this OTT, which is the exact same as this OTT. But if we listen to this OTT. It does generally the same thing, but you can hear that the high end came out like smoother. It just faded out like there was no like but when I when I do it here there's a like that sound and I have tried messing with it and I don't know what it is uh, even if I bring a low threshold all the way down that was a little better maybe if I mess with the release That was much better for the high end. So there's a little bit of differences that need to be changed because if you just copy it straight over, uh, also just point out this is on RMS mode for all the envelopes. So you have to make sure that every compressor in the dynamic section is in RMS mode as well. So that way it's, it's picking up like energy levels, not peak levels. And that's what you want for it to do that proper sound. But uh, I think some knobs have to be adjusted a little bit to get that proper sound. Uh, like, for example, this is supposed to be 282, but at 282, that was still okay. But if we put this, let's go back to where we were. So, yeah, 282 and the low threshold uh, was here. Uh, let's try raising this. Maybe it's like 320. It did it a bit again. We could lower this, but if we start to lower the low threshold, it changes the way the OTT is happening. So this might just need longer release times. Still kind of did it. I'll bring this down to like 44. But if I bring this back down to rock bottom, put this to 320. came out smoother yeah and I think this this OTT is a bit louder uh, in general so like that's the thing is like what OTT is better like is it better to use this little plugin or is it better to have like a really really customizable like plugin like this and like I said, it doesn't work quite as well because like, for example, if you take this, this is a multiband splitter with like three compressors on it. It does not work the same way as this multiband compressor that has been optimized to be work like work with itself because it's a plug in device meant specifically for compressing where this one was just meant for like anything you could possibly do. So there might be some problems like in that situation. But uh, this is like how you make the OTT. Um, 
I could put a download for it in a Dropbox, but like it's not hard to make yourself. I'm going to probably um make it to like my liking sort of um just like a little bit of customization. It's not going to be like word for word like oops. it's not going to be uh completely the exact same because it doesn't work the same if it's the exact same it needs to be changed a little bit to get some sort of closeness to it and if i i would like to figure out what this time knob is like actually doing because like i can read that and i i know what it's actually doing but when i do it in here it doesn't do it right it's really weird and again i think it's just because like the way this dynamics plugin is uh because you know i i can't set the knee in this multiband, it just has soft knee on or off. So, like, what is soft knee like in this situation? And I can't know that really. So, I guess it, I guess it depends. Um, it's that's a little weird, but yeah, that's all I had to talk about. Uh, really. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll put this in the Dropbox. See ya.